Well, Commissioner Kamara joins me now from Washington, D.C. She's a West African politics specialist at the National Endowment for Democracy. Uh, Commissioner, presumably this is quite a surprise even for you and a pleasant surprise. It is a pleasant surprise. It's actually very big. Uh, it's bigger than anything that I've witnessed this year. Um, I think most Gambian observers would have predicted that Lea Jame uh, uh, could not have lost these elections and that he would have won them uh, uh, without a problem. I am very surprised. Uh, it's a very big thing, especially for the Gambian diaspora, which is based uh, either in the United States or in the UK, and uh, who have been away for, for, from the Gambia because of um, a persecution in the country. Why do you think he won by such a strong margin, and why do you think the incumbent accepted it? So um, there has been a coal an opposition uh, uh, a coalition. Seven opposition parties uh, came uh, around one candidate and des uh, designated him as uh, the opposition candidate uh, that would compete against uh, Yaya Jame. So um, I think that that's one reason why mathematically uh, Yaya Jame uh, lost, uh, but the reason why he actually um, uh, was defeated is uh, beyond me. I just, I just have no idea uh, how, how we came to that point. There was absolutely no indications as to uh, how he could actually lo lose these elections. How do you think Gambians around the world and inside Gambia feel about this? Do you think they're proud of it? And do you think they're hopeful that the, the country can move forward in a democratic street? I think they are definitely proud of it. I think most of them cannot believe what is happening. Uh, I think that one thing that we're, we're all been uh, waiting for is Yaya Jami publicly coming on national television to say, I lost the election and uh, I wish uh, Adam Abara good luck. Right, and, and what about the incumbent? It's, it's all over for him. What do you think he'll do now? Well, um, so he promised to lead a transition period of three years, uh, that he was going to come together with opposition parties in the Gambia to lead the country uh, through the transition and then organize elections in three years. I'm not sure whether he will go ahead with that, but again, um, the, the caution here is that Yaya Jami did not come out publicly to say that he lost the election, so that's what we're, we're waiting for. Right. Commissioner Kamara, thank you very much for that analysis.